Did you know that Microsoft actually uses your computer, your bandwidth to distribute its Windows updates? Could this explain why a computer is perfectly fine and then all of a sudden starts to lag for a little bit? And besides, shouldn't it be your choice whether you want to allow this to even happen? Well, don't worry. Today I'm going to show you how you can control all this. Let me show you what you need to know. Break it down now, phone, gadget, apps. It's the techie, techie guy. Hey, welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadget, apps, tips and tricks and how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. Okay, so what's going on here? Well, we know that our Windows computers get Windows updates. Those updates fix bugs and issues with our computers and our systems. They also include some security and they include fixes for the previous update for the stuff that it broke when it updated the last time. And then uh, rinse and repeat. Now, Microsoft obviously realizes that not everyone has a nice fast connectivity and therefore it developed a system called the Windows Update Delivery Optimization System. So when your computer discovers there's a Windows update, it can begin to download it from Microsoft, but it can also download it from PCs on your local network and other PCs on the internet. Okay, so the first part kind of makes sense. I mean, if you've got a couple of Windows computers at home, there's no reason for each computer to go out onto the internet to get an entire full update when one computer can get it and can distribute it to other computers on your local network. Okay, I get that part. What about the second part, the part about or other PCs on the internet? Well, what does that mean? Well, the way the Windows update works is that it doesn't download one file which makes up the update. It downloads lots of little bits of files from around the world, around distributed computers, around the internet, and then it reassembles that file on your computer before it allowing you to install it. But that also means that your computer now becomes part of that distributed network, which basically means that other people, when they do their updates, if you've got the file or bits of that file that it needs, it will actually pull it from your computer using your computer and your bandwidth. Now, in all fairness to Microsoft, the bandwidth management is done really, really well, and you probably wouldn't have noticed it unless you're in the middle of a game and it starts to lag all of a sudden out of the blue, you're on a slow internet connection, and or you have a data cap on your bandwidth. Well, in which case, I wanna control my uploads, I wanna control my downloads, and I certainly wanna control who uses my bandwidth. Let me show you the options you need to change. Simply right click on your Windows icon at the bottom and then choose Windows Settings. From here, you're gonna choose the Update and Security. And when you click on that, here's where you're going to see all your Windows updates, your schedule, but you want to click on the left hand side on delivery optimization. Here you can see all the information. Microsoft doesn't hide anything from you. It is all there to know exactly what's going on. And here's where you have a bunch of options to play with. So if you don't want to allow download from other PCs, all you got to do is simply disable this whole thing altogether and then you're pretty much done. However, if you do have other computers on your same Wi-Fi network or your same network at home, it's probably a good idea to enable the first one, PCs on my local network. What you want to do is click on Advanced Options. Now, under Advanced Options is where you can limit the bandwidth. Even though it does a great job in dynamically allocating the bandwidth, you can say, look, I want to allow only a certain percentage of my bandwidth in the foreground or the background to it when I download my updates. Remember, the more bandwidth you give it, the faster those downloads will actually happen. And in the upload settings, this is when you choose how much bandwidth is allowed to upload to other PCs on the internet. You can say, I want to scale this right down, only allow 5% of that, and I want my monthly upload limit to be 5 gigs. The default, I think, was like 500 or something silly like that. But again, you can control all of this within your settings. And as soon as you do that, you're pretty much done. Now that you've taken control of your windows, check out some more tips and tricks down here in these two videos down here. Hit the head below to subscribe if you like this kind of content. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in those videos. One video, both videos, watch both, that's fine.